Good afternoon. Uh, remember a couple videos ago I had put the IBC tote at the corner of my barn here and I just got in the mail today the aqua barrel downspout diverter uh, parts. So let's go over here to the delivery and see what we have. See, there's the company, Aqua Barrel LLC, out of Iowa. And in the box, we have one complete set here of diverter uh, materials that we need to hook a downspout up into a rain barrel. First piece we have here is the diverter itself. So you can see it's a Y, y shape, and it's got a valve here, or a little diverter switch here. Open one side, or open the other side. Let's take a look down inside. You can see the diverter working. That would be the right side that's open. And the left side is open. Or you can set it in the middle. Like that. And you'll have water going down both sides of your downspout. So that would be the main diverter piece. It comes with a... part that hooks onto the diverter and it allows you to be in line with your current downspout. So you can see that at the top up there, this would divert the water down the downspout on the right hand side into the rain barrel on the left. If you put it that way, or if you put it that way, that reverses it. The downspout onto the lawn would be on the left and the rain barrel on the right. And the other piece that we have is the part that would go towards your that would go towards your uh, water barrel. All right, I have one of those already completed over here, just put together, ready to go into my installation, so you can see it. The top, the Y on the top, diverts down the for both parts. I have my left side set up here for the downspout onto the lawn, and the right side set up for the rain barrel. Okay, we're gonna head outside here, install this, and see how it works. Okay, we're outside now. We're gonna be marking our downspout where it needs to be cut. So I'm gonna put it up here. I have to get it high enough so I can put my connector hose from here down to the hole in the IBC tote. So we're gonna mark this up here. I'll mark this an inch longer or down from here so that this spout can go inside of there one inch it's going to hit here at these rivets so it's about an inch come down to the bottom go up about an inch inch and a quarter from the bottom put a mark there so we're going to cut this down spout here and here that piece is going to come out and this piece is going to replace it simple as that Okay, we're going to cut the downspout now.
Okay, top is detached. I'm gonna head down to the bottom. Okay, we're going to have to crimp the top here, and I believe we don't have to crimp this one because that one's going to go over the inside. I think that'll fit well. But we're going to have to crimp this one by cutting some slots in it and crimping it down. Okay, I have the tops and bottoms crimped in. Just going to attach a couple screws now. I decided to take all the um, downspout off the barn here. It was a lot, it was a lot easier to uh, work with. So, turn that back around. Put that back in. I go back and attach my brackets back on and I can put my hose on to here and it'll be all done well we have the uh, diverter all installed pretty pleased with the ease that it installed uh, if I would have done it over I would have taken the downspout off before I started just a lot easier to work all the parts to back together got a extension here gonna put that up on here I may in the future take the cover of the tote and cut a four inch circle into it and attach this so the so stuff can't get down inside from here but for now I just wanted to see how well this works how much water I could catch off this roof the roof is 30 feet by um, 15 so I got 450 square feet of roof up here on this side of the barn to see how I want to see how much water I can collect here in a good good uh, one inch storm so that's just going to go down inside here like that that's pretty solid there it's not going to come off a lot of friction here with the with the corrugation here so leave that there and let's see how this thing works you can see i've cut the four inch hole for the um, corrugated piping that goes up here it gets attached up here to the diverter it's worked well take that out we just got a storm the other day about an inch of rain so it filled the tank right up We have this hooked up to a hose nozzle now. And that tank's holding about 275 gallons of water right now. We also did this same setup onto the front of the barn. Seventy-five foot hose attached to the same exact plumbing setup but up here I use a piece of downspout and cut a three inch hole in the cover and this tank is also filled I painted them black goes with the trim take a look at it from a distance a 
they're actually pretty non-obtrusive. They look like they're huge, but from the road, from the back, they don't look too bad. We planted these black to stop the algae from growing. And I've heard other YouTubers talking about the water gets hot. But this water right now, these are sitting in the sun. That water is probably no more than 75 degrees. Um, we also treat with just plain old Clorox. I'm using the Dollar General brand, concentrated bleach, unscented. And I put about three quarters of a cup in for the entire 275 gallons. I do water the chickens with this water. We're gonna be watering the goats and stuff with this water. Now the front one can actually water all of our raised beds down through here, just using the hose and the pressure from the tank. So we're going out here about 80 feet from that tank and it waters it well. We have a mammoth sunflowers growing with our tomatoes here. And with the cucumbers, we're going to have them train right up the the, the um, sunflowers. Nice radishes. These are hot radishes, though. Got some nasturtiums in here. It's supposed to keep the way the squash beetles. Not doing so bad so far, but there are some immature beetles, and they're more mature one right here. When we see them, we pick them off and just squish them. But that's an update on the water tanks. So right now we have 275 gallons times two, 550 gallons of water stored right now. And that'll water my trees and stuff out here. And the gardens and the berries down there. That'll water them for a few weeks. Okay, thanks for watching. Just an update on the the diverters that we put in. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you can. Bye-bye.